I'm not here to just spout off some sort of theory. I'm running to lead this country starting in January 2025, realistically, with what I can do as the next president. And the role of Bitcoin is really important in that. What we actually need is alternative opt-out systems that holds the feet to the fire of the government and the source and the issuer of fiat currency itself, the U.S. dollar. So it's when you're insecure about your own foundation or your value proposition that you try to shut out competition. So I think the role of the government is to get out of the way of Bitcoin. It, should get, it can be a totally parallel system. No special favors, no special punishments. Discussion of excise taxes or whatever on mining specifically for digital assets or Bitcoin, that's an affront. Let it operate in a way that actually creates a laboratory for innovation, a laboratory that we learn from, but also one that holds the dollar's feet to the fire. I think that's actually a good thing and will put me in a better position as the U.S. president to put the Fed back, put the Fed back in its place because there is a backstop. And then listen, let the market decide as it may, but I personally believe that the right answer is to restore the dollar as a unit of measurement and not have this level of psychological insecurity about the rise of Bitcoin. To the contrary, self-confidence in the U.S. government, if the U.S. government actually reflects self-confidence, it would be by actually allowing a parallel system of currency to thrive. But as president of the United States, your focus would be maintaining the supremacy of the U.S. dollar, one would think. I think that competition makes you stronger. But the end game is to have the dollar as the top currency or maintaining its status rather than moving to a Bitcoin standard. Well, the, the, the reality is in a global economy, everyone has their role to play. So the president of the United States, absolutely. Restoring the stability and integrity of the U.S. dollar is absolutely my focus. But it turns out that competition breeds strength. And so if we're competing against actually Bitcoin as, a, as an alternative currency, that's not something that if we're actually doing things the right way that we should be threatened by or made insecure by, that's something that actually makes us stronger. So that's the vantage point that I bring. Now, what I would say is Bitcoiners are free to continue to, in the free marketplace of ideas and the free market of exchange, free to make their case for why people should be switching over to Bitcoin or, or, you know, some people in a different community will make a different case for whatever their chosen unit of measurement is. And that's fine. It's part of what it means to live in a free society. But as the president of the United States, my job is to, A, preserve those freedoms without encroaching on those freedoms through backdoor taxes or modes of regulation that are designed to squeeze out that competition from existence. But even more importantly, to use that as an occasion to strengthen the value proposition of the U.S. dollar itself.